Everybody, welcome back. Welcome back, Big Paul. Big Paul's trucking. Nice to have you. Oh, you guys. We got a good one for you today. Got to check this out. Look at this. I finally found it. That's a 400 horse, pre-emission, 1990 400 E7 Mac. I had one of these in a 91R model. I owned, oh, 20 years ago, 25 years ago. And I always regretted selling it. And I just found one pop up the other day. And uh, we drove. Let me show you around. Me and my son and my best friend, we drove 750 miles round trip to go get this engine. Look at the condition of it. There's still paint on the valve covers. It has another brand new clutch. And the guy told me they put the clutch in the tranny went out the next day. That's a $1,200, $1,500 clutch. Look at this engine, you guys. So check that out. There's still paint on the block. Paint on the block. This, is, this engine was built in 1990. And it actually has a real Jake brake on this Max. Not the Dynatard. This is a real Jake brake. Guys, I am going to put this engine eventually, not today, in my uh, cruise liner. And I'm going to have a cruise liner. With an E7 400 horse, and it ought to rip pretty good. As you can see, this is an air to air motor, no tip turbine, so I'm gonna have to put an air charger on the front of it, kind of uh, on the front of the radiator, and do a little fabricating there. But you guys, this this is this is awesome. I, I I can't believe I found this engine. They're really hard to find, and I didn't want a 300 horse one. I wanted one a little bigger, so I could uh you know when I got it on the truck description. At the truck show, this will certainly be, anyone that knows trucks will know that this was an addition, this was an improvement, this was added to that truck because uh, no cruise liner was ever built with an E7. Awesome, guys. Awesome. So listen, we got one more thing for you I wanted to tell you guys about. Oh, the hand again. I'll have to cut that out. Is... Uh, we just got back. We just bought another international cruise uh, uh, cab over. My son did. So now he's going to have a red one and a white one. Oh, my gosh. It's like a, a, this guy is like trying to clean up his yard, and he bought uh, uh, this property, and there's just trucks everywhere. And they're in pretty bad shape. But uh, this guy is very reasonable, and uh, he's trying to get the place cleared out. So we're going to help him get rid of this truck and another uh, power unit I bought. I bought a power unit, you guys, with a uh, four-cylinder uh, Detroit engine in it. It looks like it runs, but I can't wait to get it here and start it up and uh, rev it up, you know. So after this, I'm going to give you guys, we're going to put a video on where we just were. I'll let you guys check all that out, and then uh, I'll see you at the end. Thanks for watching, guys. Big Paul. All right, you guys, it's Big Paul, Big Paul Struckin'. I got a good one for you today. We are on location, but it's an undisclosed location of a little bit of a cleanup, and we found some old trucks. There's an old B model Mac. I want to show you guys what I'm looking at. We found another international cab over. We found another truck over there we got to look at. Truck here. We got a couple more trucks in the driveway, a couple more uh, internationals and Macs. Got some Mac parts over yonder. So we're going to be showing you guys around and see what we find. Look at these old doors over here, Paul. I don't know what they're off of. Replacement door parts. This is a, this, no, it's a brand new door. What is that off of? Or is it just a box? No, it's a brand, I think it's still in the box. It is. See what door it is. Those are square body Chevy doors. That's a brand new square body Chevy pickup truck door. All rust free. Look at there's four of them. 
Probably and there's a brand spank. Of course you could. Paul, don't see what you want to buy. That's the way this place works. All right, you guys, check this out. That's an R model air filter. It ain't even rusted out. I think it's an R model. It's in pretty cool shape. Still got an air filter in it. Look at that. There's a turbo boot, a turbo line, one to the turbo. There's just unbelievable amount of parts laying around here. All oh, there's a wood, a wood splitter that mounts on the back of your tractor. There's a little tow around something with wheels on it. I like that. I wish it was bigger. I'd put an engine on it. But look, there is stuff everywhere. These people were nice enough to let us come here and check it out and walk back here, you know, unsupervised. We're just looking. A couple things we might buy, but that means we got to get them home too, which is the hard part. Especially when you have uh, no, uh, well, that thing doesn't move and it's not going to move. We're going to have to move everything. All right, well, I'm going to keep looking around here and see if I see anything else interesting, you guys. That old Volkswagen bus is pretty cool. Look at that. With the tire on the front. At least it's sitting inside. Maybe someone will do something with it someday. Bolt bins, look at the dune buggy. The dune buggy sitting right there, a Volkswagen van. Let's walk in here and look at this Mac. Watch where you're stepping, because there could be anything to go in your foot. So, I know. I mean like bolts, screws. Look at this, you guys. This is unbelievable. This guy said he bought the property and all these trucks were here. And he knew they were here. It was part of the purchase. And he's going to get rid of them. That's a B model Mac right there. It's been around a little while. Look at the dust on it. Tandem axle. That's a little bit more rare. And it's got Mac rear ends. That's actually a super cool truck. I got to think about that. Hold on. I got to do one thing at a time. Yeah, look at that Volkswagen van. Check that out, you guys. The camper special. Dune buggy sitting next to it. I'm going to look over here. Look at these Jeeps. Got a Jeep. Old tractor. Look how long the frame is on this B model. It's got solid uh, solid suspension. Camelback on a Trunnion. Well, on a, yeah, Trunnion and on Dayton wheels. Hold on. I'm stuck in the mud here. I'm walking over towards you. Is it? It's probably out of this truck. Look at this guy. Two stick. Flat dash. What a nice interior. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Man, I wish it wasn't so rusted out. Look at the rust. I guess a lot of it's there. This was a nice truck in its day. Somebody spent a lot of time on that paint job. Look at how nice that paint job is with that stripe. Getting narrower to the front. And then that hood sitting out front. Let's see, Paul. There's the fuel tank for it, that square fuel tank. You see the interior? Max, are you running? Come over here with me. Follow me. Got an old payloader. I had this exact payloader, Paul. Rear steer. I think that's what the, that's the, I had the, I had a Huff. I had a Huff, uh, a Huff 30. Yeah, okay, guys, we got engines, transmissions. What do we got here? Okay, we got a, Oh, yeah, that's the engine out of that truck, for sure. Maxitorque transmission. This is it. Well, that's the lubrifiner. This is the oil, the lubrifiner. Yeah, that's it. Look, it's even a turbo. Yeah. Well, that's a two-valve Mac, but that's an old one. Look at that. No, uh, no after-cooler. Yeah. Turbo goes straight into the intake manifold. Around the lubrifiner. That's crazy. That's where the oil's circulating. That's your lubrifier sitting on top of the engine. Wow. That is super cool, guys. Look at the trans... You can tell it's for the shifter, for the two-stick and all that. Yeah. Super cool. Under here. No, we're not digging stuff up, Max. Look at that. There's that B-model. Look, Max. It's got, Paul, it's got the Playboy sticker on it. Oh, yeah. You see that? Man, that guy was a play-yah. Play-yah. You see the Jeep, too? I saw that Jeep. 
That thing's cool as crap. Look how, I can't believe how long that B model is. All right, guys, we're not sure what we're buying. We might buy all of it. Let's go check these other trucks out. Next, this way. What a find. Look at all the steel. You guys need a rack for something? You can make something here. Look at the front of this truck, Paul, this red front. There's a Mac too. I wonder if you'll sell just that. I wonder if you'll sell me just that. That's pretty cool. I think this guy was a Mac man. Man, what other, I'm looking around here, what other good little Mac tidbits can we find? There's another engine. Come on, Max. But that is a Detroit. Look at that Detroit, Paul. That's a four-cylinder, two-stroke Detroit. Is it four? That might be a two. Yeah, let's get back. That is, though. That's a, no, a three-cylinder. It says. Yeah, bees nest inside. Look, Paul, they're going in the casting. Max, stay away from that. All right, guys. So cool. There's all kinds. Of, there's the hood off that truck right here, Paul. Look, if you bought that truck, you have to go around and find all the parts. There's the sides of the fenders. There's the hood. Hey, what's this again? Oh. Max, stay over here. What do you see? Oh, old Ford grill, like a Ford. Uh... Look, there's a Max steering column right there, Paul. Paul, that's a Max steering column right there. Look at the horn button. It says Mac. That is cool. That's cool. We got lots to look at, guys. We're going to go check out that cab over next. Okay. Well, here we have another nice R model air filter that uh, has the bonnet on it. And uh, you can see that log splitter laying right there again. But uh, there's a lot of stuff around here to look at. Old style. Bud wheels, and there's just piles of tire. They're really trying to clean this uh, property up and uh, deal with everything, old trailer, and there's a condemned house on the property, and another old Mac sitting up on the hill there, but pretty fun. The microphone went out for this. I wasn't using my outdoor microphone. Now that is the uh, green front end off that truck in the building I showed you first. Um, it's pretty cool. I wouldn't mind putting that just next to my shop as yard art. But uh, when I go back to get the few things we did purchase, I'm gonna talk to him more about the, uh, the yard art and some of these other trucks. I'd like to see if I can start this truck, if he would uh, let me do a will it start. But uh, we'll find out. Now, check this little log truck out. It's really cool. You see that power unit on the back? That's a four-cylinder Detroit power unit with a clutch gauges. I really think it's cool as crap. I did purchase that power unit on the back of this truck, and uh, we're going to uh, bring that home, start it up, see if we can get it running. Isn't that thing cool as crap, you guys? Four-cylinder Detroit, radiator, clutch. Got gauges. I don't have any use for it, but uh, it will be cool. This will be the first Detroit diesel engine Big Paul has ever owned. So I'm really excited to get that home and start it up and rev it up, have some fun with it. But boy, it's really hard leaving this old Mack log truck there. You can see that self-loader, just like the rest of them, laying in the yard. They just bolt on right there in the front behind the cab. And then uh, you got to basically build your own bed for these old trucks. And uh, load logs. But, man, look at this truck. What a survivor. But we, this guy that owns this place is a really nice guy. So I think he will let us try to start this truck. Uh, and then maybe he, he can advertise it as a running truck. It even had a couple batteries that didn't look too old, but I, uh, I have no doubt in my mind this truck will run. Look at that. You want to sit up there? That's a little pre-OSHA, guys. 
They don't want to hear your crying. Load the load the logs and get down the mountain. Boy, oh boy. Awesome, man. I tell you, I could walk around this place all day. Every time you go, you'd find new stuff you didn't see. I hope you guys have spotted another. Look at that R-Model hood. Look at this cab over. Thermodyne. Thermodyne. There's, there's another Mac hood laying right here. I'll put the steering column by. Diesel. This guy had all kinds of B-Model parts here. All kinds. This has got to be like, uh, no, that's not a Mac. Mac, you got to step over that. Come around. Let's go around. Check this truck out. It's sitting there. Old truck frame down here. Check that out. Bishop, J.W. Bishop and Company. Put the Amish buggy on it. Air ride. No hood, no engine. I guess they were done with it. Oh, door don't open. That's pretty cool. Truckers Crime Watch. Look at that. Pennsylvania. Truck number 36. All right, let's keep moving on. That looks like an R, uh, almost a seven, R700 hood, but I don't think it is now. It's a little short. Got another international here. It's like a little flatbed truck or something. Oh, yeah, they've been sitting here for a while. Check it out. You got to go down there and look at that dump truck, too. Look at the Volkswagen Bug. There's cool stuff everywhere. I think we're going to look at this. Uh, my son might buy this truck because it matches his cab over. cab over. And it's got bud wheels on it, which he'd like to have. So uh, and it's really almost got like eight new back tires, even though they're completely old and dry rotted and destroyed, as we can see. But uh, there's another Mac hood laying upside down up there. I didn't even see. This place is filled, you guys. There is stuff everywhere. Let's look a little closer at this International. This is not a bad truck. It is not a bad truck. It don't we look should, too bad. We should, we should buy it. Well, we're talking about it. Look at that weird Midland air dryer. Boy, is that a, cool. It has a, I think it has a reman tag on the side of here. Because I don't see oh, a, Really? Yeah, you're going to have to look at that this one. This thing's got an it. Look at the house. It's got like this. Uh, look at the look at the, uh, the drip edge around the house. Yeah. That's pretty cool. All right, let's look inside. Hang on, Max. I'll open the door. We'll look inside. Now, just so you guys know, this was uh, O'Leary. This was O'Leary's truck. Big O. Can I go in? Oh, Leary. No, you cannot. No, you cannot. We're looking. We're not climbing in. Hey, I said no. I'm looking. All right. Check it out, guys. It's actually all here. Let's see, we got a mattress. Woo! A nice interior. Back. The back of it's still in good shape. I think that's a 13. No. It's missing the air shifter. It's missing all kinds of stuff. Hold on, let me see. Nick, get back. Hold on, Paul. I like it, guys. Definitely a lot of good parts there. It's, That's... A, it's a nine speed. Is it? Yeah. All right, cool. It's a, yeah, four road ranger nine this baby's been around, let me tell you. Actually, I should say it's been sitting here a long time. Check it out. All right, let's go look at another one. I can't believe that hood's sitting there. Destroyed. You guys ain't gonna believe this. Look at this cool old air dryer. And look at this cool old fuel filter on this engine. This is a 400 Cummins, you guys. And it, this truck was parked here just a long time ago. So uh, we're going to be talking to the owner about this truck. Might have to add it to the fleet. But it's got no title, so it ain't going to be good for much else. It's got a stack you could use. Yeah. But, yeah, looks pretty rusty. 
Looks like a thing, but we're moving Another back. spring ride. It is, yep. Yeah. Yep. The aluminum battery box cover. Mine's oh, yeah. No, no, Not the same one. Never mind. Same one. Maximus. Oh, yeah, those are stainless steel straps. Yeah, you guys. I don't know. This thing's not bad. How we find this stuff, guys, and it finds us, I don't know what to tell you. All right, I want to walk over and look at that other truck. All right, we'll be back to this one, you guys. Check out this old Volkswagen. My mom had one of these 60 years ago. Yeah, I think it was even light blue. Maybe that was the one. She was from Cleveland. Wow. Super cool. Uh, it's, it's not for that. Yeah, that's pretty common light. I don't even know what that is, you guys. Put in the comments if you know what that is. Oh, wait, it's a grapple. Meant to be mounted to a truck. Oh, that's what it is. Look at that. That's a self-loader. Down there is where you load it to the truck. That's the ladder you climb up. You sit up here. Yeah. That's a self-loader. F600. I gotta see what engines in that F600. Well, he said that yeah, we can load right off of this road. Maxima, stay over here by me. This, you know, this this almost looks like uh, Dane Scott's uh, Sarge. See how that road? Let's see what we got here, you guys. Let me figure out what, what engine we got. Whoa. And watch the max. There could be bees coming right out of there. We don't know until we look in here. This is actually in a little better shape. That's not in bad shape. Got the old controls. Is that for the battery? That's, yes, that's the battery box. They're all, they used to all be like that. Max, come over here away from that road. Okay. What engine? What engine, you guys? Let's see if we can... I'm fighting. Oh, my gosh. The prickers. Oh. All right, you guys. Fight the prickers. Hopefully no bees. Oh. What do we got? Holy crap. That's just this little tiny baby engine. That's a gas engine. Nobody wants that. Wow. Look at this thing. All right, I'm shutting it. Ow, the prickers have got me. Ow, ow. <laughs> Hold on, you guys. Uh, Paul, can you get that? The, the, uh, the tree's got it. Hold on, guys. we got to cipher this out. Um, pull the tree back if you can. No? Paul, pull the tree back. Maybe that'll help. Is that, is that what's stopping it? Oh, wait. The little leg went out. This thing went out. Oh. That's the problem, guys. All right. Got it. Painful, but we got it. All right, a couple more trucks up there we're going to go look at. Thanks for watching. Okay, guys, let's keep going. That truck was cool, but it's got a little tiny small block Chevy or something like that, small block Ford. Not cool enough. So far, we've only found one that's cool enough. Hold on, my son. Yeah, that, that was common. That was very common, that white interior. Let's go over here and look at these other uh, junk. I mean, fine trucks. What's this? Uh, that's another grapple. That's another self-loader. Those, well, those around here probably... Yeah, those are probably, probably sell for big bucks around here. You put that on any channel. Diesel. You guys, what a place to walk around today. We sure are lucky we found this. A friend of mine sent me the link. Randy, if you ever watch my shows, this is all because of you. He sent me the link to this guy, and it was only like 30 minutes, 30 minutes from our house. A little boat trailer. Oh, man, you can't take the bulldog. That's, that's an old gold bulldog. Look, so it means it's got, a, it's got a Mac transmission. They all did back then. All the gold wore off. Check it out. Let's look at the inside. You want to drive that for eight hours, Paul? Like oh, look at that, you guys. The U600. Well, wait, let me see. Yeah, that's the old style. Look at this interior, guys. Back when people ran this all day, you were a man. 
everything in the interior hard look at that mac trucks baby 10-4 come on back that is so cool that is so cool where's the build date ah oh, the sticker's not there anymore that's where the build date sticker would be cool guys the people oh better be gentle there it's too bad the old dog laid here too long i think she's staying i bet it's start though okay guys this is a real find that's a mac truck jeepster suv something look at it got a mac truck bulldog on the front it's a mac that thing is so cool. I wish it wasn't so rusted out, but it is gone. Tell me where you would find another one of them. Um, I mean, it's all there. It's four-wheel drive even. Got lockers in the front, but that's a Mac. Back in the day, they made a Mac pickup truck. They must have made this too, but I don't think they sold very many of them because I've never seen one of them on the road. If you had, have, speak up. Give me a comment. That is certainly um, a survivor, but one of a kind, or at least can't be many left. Okay, you guys, this truck's coming home with us. We worked out a deal on it, got it for a fair price. There's a lot of good parts on here my kid can use on his truck. So, can't wait to get it home. All right, guys, I want to thank you for watching. I can't wait to get this truck home so we can wash it, shoot some videos on hauling it home, getting it on the trailer, all of our struggles, and uh, this power unit, when I get that thing home, is going to be a lot of fun to play with. Start up, make some noise. 
I want to thank you guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. We're going to have another video out here in another day or two when we start hauling stuff home. Thanks for watching.